Yes. Let's talk about water. <clears throat> Our dream is to facilitate clean and safe water for everybody. I'm going to tell you a story, the story of, of Lorette. Lorette lives in a small country, in Haiti, in a small village. She's the mother of five children. <coughs> After the earthquake, she, her family, and her community were forced to drink contaminated water. A son of a neighbor died because of cholera. More than a thousand people died all around Haiti. Look at that picture. More than two billion, billion people around the world are drinking unsafe water. And more than two million died because of cholera and other waterborne diseases. We know that we have to do something, and we are working on it. We have been developing products and solutions on that way. Lorette now is happy. Her family can drink clean water. She and other 200 families participate in a pilot project implemented by Care IT. Care IT are using our prototypes. In the picture, you can see the field promoters of Care and our blue back prototype. To develop our product, we collaborate with different organizations, focus on our four strategic lines. Fundraising, implementing, research, and materials development. As you can see, we are not a classical company. We are a network organization. Let me point out that we are a non-profit company and that we are a spin-off of the University of Cadiz and the Swiss Aquatic Research Institution. The core team of Aguamundi are five people from different fields, economics, engineering, and science. And we closely collaborate with other people, psychologists, marketing, design, all together share the same dream with us. I hope you too. Now Matthias will talk about the problem. This is the product. It's a plastic bag, four liters of water. On the top, it has a slider to open and a wide opening. This makes it easy for filling the bag from a river, from a lake, or from a well. On the bottom, there is a tap for drawing the treated drinking water. We are now going to show you a video of how the product is being used. First, you open the slider and you fill the bag with water. You then close the bag and expose it to direct sunlight on the roof, on the washing clothes, under sunny conditions six hours are enough. Under cloudy conditions you have to wait for two days. After that the water is safe for drinking. That's how easy it is to obtain safe drinking water. I'm sure that many of you didn't know that just by exposing water to sunlight, you can actually make it drinkable. How many of you didn't know that before? Okay, so that's something, something you even can use for a survival tip. <clears throat> As you can imagine, the product has, some, has important advantages. We summarize these advantages with the word secret. Secret stands for five important advantages of this product. 
The S is for safe. Not only is the water safe for drinking, but it's a safe method because it doesn't in involve harmful chemicals. E is for easy. It's actually so easy that children and illiterate people have been using our products successfully in field trials. The C is for cost effective. With 10 euros, we can provide a family with two bags, two cups for drinking, and two indicators for user guidance. The R is for re reusable. Our customers have been using the product for six months and more in trials in Haiti and Bolivia. <clears throat> e is for environmental friendly, because compared to water boiling, this method doesn't involve burning wood or fossil fuels. And T is for transportable. This is very important for any population on the move, be it refugees, be it nomadic people. So, as we have been telling you, we developed this product in cooperation with Laurette and her family in Haiti. 200 more families there provided inputs. Currently, we are implementing a field trial in Bolivia with more than 100 families who are helping us to improve the product and make it more user-friendly. However, in spite of working with hundreds of people, there are actually millions of people who need solutions like this. Every year, more than 200 million people are affected by natural disasters, and they lose access to the service of drinking water they had before. If the story ended here, it would be a sad story, but we want to make it a, a happy ending. So that's why we could keep push pushing this initiative. The next three milestones of our initiative are the following. In 2013, we want to start mass production of the bag. In early 2014, we want to start a large-scale pilot project in Tanzania, and we'll launch a crowdfunding campaign on the internet. So, the next time you drink a glass of drinking water, consider this is a privilege, and you should enjoy it. If you want to share the dream with us, safe drinking water for all. Thank you.